What is going on guys? Eli or the Craft Gang here, and today I'll be showing you guys how you can make your own bungee cord server. And basically there's going to be a couple of things you're going to need. One of them, obviously, is a copy of the bungee cord download, which can be found on the bungee cord download page, and all of these links will be found in the description. The other thing is Spigot, and which can be downloaded for 1.8 on the first link, uh, or not the first link in the description. I will label all of these links so you guys know what to go to. And for one point, it's, it's uh, spigot.com.info, and you would just click on Spigot Download. And for 1.7.10, you would click on this little jar file link um, for the latest version of Spigot for 1.7.10. And I'll be doing all of this in 1.7.10, not 1.8, um, but this will work just as good in 1.8, and you would do the exact same thing. So basically, the last thing you're going to need is your startup script, which can be created in TextEdit. And your Windows equivalent will do the exact same thing, except you would use the different script that I'm about to use. So first thing you want to do is make it plain text, so under Format, and Make Plain Text. And you want to go ahead and copy what I have. This will be in the description, or on the Craft Bucket Wiki, you can find it. And um, there's a couple things you need to know. And basically, these two things here mean how much RAM you're giving your server, which will allow more players to join and allow it to have less lag. And basically, it's not, right now it's in megabytes, so 1024 megabytes is, I believe, one gigabyte. And so you're giving your server one gigabyte. And you want these, uh, each side of this, this, you want this value to be equal to this value. So you want these to be the same. And, of course, the name of your jar file that you, this startup script will be opening. So I'm going to name this uh, right here to spigot.jar and I can go ahead and save this and you're going to want to name it start.command if you're on Mac and I believe it's start.bat um, on Windows and you're going to want to save this on your desktop and I'm just going to go ahead and replace it since it's already there and we have our startup script. Now, for some of you, you might not have permission to run this file and you need to give yourself permission in terminal. So go ahead and open up terminal and you wanna type, when it loads, chmod space a plus x space and drag your startup file in there and hit enter. And it gives yourself permission. It doesn't tell you that it's done anything, but it gives you permission to run the file for me, I've already given myself permission, so I did not need to do that. But um, most of you will probably need to do that if you have not made one of these before. And finally, you're going to actually want to get to your server creation. So you want to make a new folder, and I'm just going to call it bungee cord. So I can type server. But this can be named whatever you want. So um, there's a couple of folders you're going to need to make in here. Um, since the bungee cord server is actually a server it's of its own, you're going to want to create a bungee cord server and a spigot server, or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this my hub server and arrange my folders, whatever, that doesn't need to be done, but I'm like that. <laughs> anyway, and then you want to drag your startup script and your bungee cord.jar into your bungee cord ser server, and you want to edit your startup script so that it says the name of the jar file that it's in the folder with. So bungeecore.jar and save, close it, and back out to our hub server. And we're going to actually go ahead and need to copy this and paste and drag our spigot.jar in there. And I'm going to clean that up just because I can. And edit this once again to say spigot instead of bungeecore. And we can go ahead and save, close. And we are ready to generate the files, <clears throat> if I can talk. Anyway, so you want to start up your bungee cord server by double clicking on your startup script. And this is your console. So as you can see, it's going through in the enabling of all of this. Uh, I wouldn't bother reading through all of this. It's basically telling you what it's starting up and stuff like that. Um, and then you want to go ahead and type stop into your, or no, end, sorry, end for bungee cord and it's going to go ahead and stop the server. You never want to close it without typing end. You have to type end. And then I'm going to go ahead and organize this folder a little bit. And it doesn't really matter. But there's a couple things you want to configure. And uh, 
that would be the servers. So under this is a list of all your servers. And uh, uh, since I call my my server hub, it doesn't really matter. It's what players type. Well, they type slash server space. So this is what they type. So hub and message of the day. This part doesn't matter as the bungee cord message of the day is what sh is what is showed shown um, for the message of the day when people tr see it on the server list. And so for the address, um, 25565 is the default port. I'm going to change mine to 25566. And restricted, keep it at false. And if I wanted to make another server, what I would do is I would copy this much and leave online mode and IP, port, IP forward to what they are. Hit enter, double space, and paste, and change this. I'm going to call this survival and 25567 because you can't have servers with the same port. And go ahead and close that, and I'm going to start it up so it can generate the files. And it appears like I have an error. It's saying default server lobby is not defined. Okay, so I know what I need to do. You want to go into your config, and as you can see, uh, default server, here it is. Um, your default server needs to be your hub server. Since I changed mine to hub, as you can see down there, I'm going to change this to hub. And um, I should configure a couple of these. So the message of the day, I'm going to call this um, Home of the Craft King. And the query port, you want to change this to 25565 since that is the port of the Bungie Board server. And I wouldn't, you don't have to worry about any of these permissions. Um, and you're done configuring it. So if we go ahead and start up, as you can see, we still are getting a severe error. Fallback server is not defined. Okay, so once again, we can close it and go into the config. And fallback server, as you can see, it's set to lobby. We're going to need to set this to hub. Um, and we can go ahead and start up our server. Looks like you have some duplicate files there. Um, and go ahead and start up our server. So, as you can see, we're all good. No severe, just info. So we can leave that server up and move on to the hub server. So we can just double click and it says unable to access jar file spigot.jar. I'll be right back. Oh, never mind. I do not need to. Um, I see I named my spigot.jar spigot.jar.jar. I'm not sure why. But if I go ahead and fix that, um, I'm going to need to fix something. I'm actually need to close your bungee cord server. Because the bungee cord server's port is 25565, and since that is the default, um, you want to make sure that you have that down when you create your hub server files so that it's actually able to create the files. And as you can see, I got to agree to the EULA, so go ahead and open up your EULA, change it to true, save, and start it back up, and it's going to generate the files. And there's a couple things you need to configure in your craft bucket or bucket.yml um, while it's generating these spawns. I can go ahead and show you this. So you want to set your connection throttle to negative one and save that. And um, I believe, um, oh yes, you need to change your online mode to false. Um, and this is because the bungee cord server is the main server and players who are not real, who haven't bought their accounts still will not be able to join. Um, but it's so players can join the hub server. And online mode, if we set this right there to false, save it, and close it. And we are actually going to need to change the port to, because since the bungee cord server port was 25565, we need to change this to 25566. We can save it and go ahead and stop the server since we configured it and start it back up. And it's going to start on the port 25566. So if we go ahead and let it generate, and it's done super fast, second time, go ahead and stop it, and boom, got that server up, and if, I'm going to go ahead and open these up so I can show you guys this is, that this is actually working. So I will be back when I have my Minecraft opened. Alright guys, and I am back, and I thought I would show you a cool tool, Port Mapper, and it basically, um, instead of port forwarding, you don't need to port forward, I'm not going to open this up because it actually shows my IP address, and I really don't want to do that. Um, 
but basically when you open it it pour forwards for you and you don't need to do anything and you would just um type uh minecraft and 25565 and you want tcp and udp check those boxes you'll know what i'm talking about when you open the program but anyway if we go ahead and join the server um that's weird okay my localhost server is actually saying it's not up Alright guys, and I'm back, so I fixed the issue, and the problem was, you needed to have your port, instead of the default what I had, you want to set it to 25565, and these four zeros behind it mean that it's localhost. So if I go ahead and close that, and I start up the Bungie Cord server, and the hub server, and we go ahead and refresh, as you can see, home of the Craft King, and... Um, if I open, this is um, what I call my server that I've been working on. If I hit edit, it would show the IP. And if I, I'm just going to open up Port Mapper. I'll cut to when I have it hidden because I do not want to have to show you guys my IP. Okay, guys, I have Port Mapper open. As you can see, I hit it behind all these terminal windows. Um, and if I refresh, as you can see, home of the Craft King. This is my local host. As you can see, if you want to connect without port forwarding, the IP is localhost. And if you want to connect to your official server that other players will be able to connect to, then you want to connect to your IP um, that shows on your port mapper, or you can type into Google, what is my IP? So if I go ahead and open, they're not open, join the server. And as you can see, here we are on the server. If I type hi, just to prove it to you guys, and go back over here, it says dire legend hi. And to prove it to you guys, this is a bungee cord server, if I type slash server, as you can see, it says you can connect to the servers at the time, hub and survival, and those are the things that I set in my bungee cord um, config, I have not created the survival server yet, so if I type slash server survival, it's going to say I can't connect to it, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and while I murder this pig, I guess, if you guys have any questions in the comments just post them there and i will respond and i hope this tutorial has helped you and i will see you guys in the next video peace